Well, hello and welcome to uh, this exercise on ratio of proportion and IGCSE GCSE uh, type questions sent to me by uh, one of my subscribers and I hope you find it interesting. Here we go. And it says uh, a student played a computer game 500 times and won 370 of these games. Now he then won the next X games and lost none. He has now won 75% of the games he has played. Okay, now the question then is we want to find the value of X. Now, there are actually there are five parts to this question. We look at the, we look at the first four and then uh, look at the fifth one at a later stage. Now, the first part is the first round of games played, and then the second round, and then the number of games won, and the number of games played. Okay, now for the first round, so we're looking at uh, this column here now. For the first round, we, uh, we won 370 games won, and we played. 500 games. Now, for the second round, which is this column, looking at this column now, for the second round, we won X games, and because we lost no, we did not lose any games played in the second round. In other words, we won all the games played in the second round. So the number of games played in the second round will then be X. Now for the fifth part, for the fifth part, we look at the total. So the, the total number of games won is 370 plus X. Okay. Uh, the total number of games played is 500 plus X. And we are told that the fraction 370 plus X divided by 500 plus X is equivalent to 75%. And we can, we can write 75% as 0 0.75. If we then cross multiply, we have that 370 plus x is equal to 0 0.75 uh, brackets open 500 plus x brackets closed. If we now expand the bracket for this one here, we now expand the bracket, uh, we have that 370 plus x is equal to 375 plus 0.75 x. If we now move the 0.75 x, this one here, to the left hand side, sorry about that, to the left hand side, so my feet to shake it. Right, the left hand side, the, 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 the sign will change. It, it then becomes minus 0 0.75. Now, similarly, if we move this 370 to the right, to the right hand side, the sign will also change. So, we now end up with x minus 0 0.75 is equal to 375 minus 370. So the left hand side then becomes 0.25x and the right hand side becomes just 5. If we then divide both sides by 0.25, we end up with x equal to 5 divided by uh, 0.25. And of course, 0 0.25, 0 0.25 is the same as 1 quarter. So if we divide 5 by 1 quarter, that's equivalent to say 5 times 4. So x 5 times 4 is 20. So x is now 20. The answer is 20 for x. Now, next question. Now, this says the cost of running the party is, sorry, the cost of running the party uh, this year, that is, is $264. 
Now, this is an increase of 10% on the cost of running the same party last year. It then says, calculate the cost of running last year's party. Right. Now, for this year, because they compared to last year, the cost has gone up by 110%. Sorry, has gone up by 10%. So we then say that 110% is equivalent to $264. Now, 1% will be equivalent to 264 divided by 110. So we're looking for 100%, which is last year's. So 100%. Is it equivalent to 264 divided by 110 times 100? And we end up with $240. So between last year and this year, the cost of running the party has gone up by uh, uh, $24, or if you like, 10% from last year. Now, I hope all that made some sense and please, please subscribe. Thank you for watching and bye-bye now. Bye-bye.